Apollo astronauts launched explosive mortars on the moon's surface in the 1960s and 70s. They brought mortars from Earth on the Apollo missions to fire off for fun. Well, not entirely for fun, but definitely in the name of scientific research. Which is fun, if you ask me. Or apparently NASA. The astronauts weren't testing moon mortars as some sort of secret government defense system, rather they were used to discover the structure of the moon's interior and subsurface. While we know a vast amount about the layers of the Earth, we knew very little about the makeup and subsurface structure of the moon. By launching and exploding mortars on the moon, they were able to record and examine seismic waves and how they moved through the moon. By measuring the slight variations in these waves, the astronauts and subsequent scientists were able to determine the structure of the moon. This is a process called active seismic imaging, or seismic tomography. Because the moon doesn't have a ton of natural earthquakes, or rather moonquakes, for the astronauts to have recorded, they had to create their own. The mortar system was developed to produce a thump throughout the surface of the moon to be picked up by finely tuned sensors. The thump was produced by a rocket-propelled grenade mortar system that was brought to the moon on Apollo 14 and 16. The system would fire grenades several kilometers from the launch site and record the waves in the moon's surface that came back. In fact, thanks to some malfunctions in the Apollo 14 tests, several grenades filled with 45 to 450 grams of hexanitrostylbene explosive have been left on the lunar surface. Perhaps future astronauts can use them to defend against alien attack. Thanks to these experiments though, and thanks to the use of grenades on the moon, we now understand much more about the subsurface structure of Earth's largest satellite. There haven't been any more seismic experiments on the moon since Apollo, and currently there aren't any more planned. But now, thanks to explosives, we understand so much more about how the moon works.